What's going on everyone? Finished up in the Cotswolds. We took a train, now we're at Birmingham, and now we're trying to head up to Oxenholm, then Windermere, where we will be staying for the night. I have no idea where we are. I don't know how we're gonna get to our destination, but I have a feeling we might get there. We met we met this guy on a train. He ran at uh, the World Championships. Shout out Craig Gill on Instagram. All right. Yeah, there it is. There we go. All right, buddy, we'll see you. Right now, I have no idea where we are. We're in England somewhere. We're stopped at a train station. We've got like an hour layover up there. We've got a KFC. We're gonna be trying British KFC for the first time. We're gonna try a couple chains while we're over here and compare them to the American version. Obviously, this is a knockoff KFC because Kentucky is in the United States. The menu already looks similar. Can I get a Zinger burger meal? Also a tower burger meal. And can we get a bunch of ketchups as well? Or tomato, something? Yeah. One thing we were surprised with compared to KFC in the United States was the prices. For $5.99 is much cheaper than what we would pay. We would have to pay like $10.99. At the wrap, this was only $1.99. All right guys, I'm gonna try this. I don't this. think we have the wraps in, I mean, it's been a while since I went to KFC, but I don't think we have the wraps in America, so that's why I got it. Yeah, I've never seen this before on the menu. Mmm, that's quite good. Final concluding thoughts on KFC in the UK. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it. I liked um, it, yeah. It's a little less greasy, yeah, definitely. Prices are way better. Even when you take into account the conversion between the pound and the US dollar, significantly cheaper. A little more variety on the menu. People we've met in Preston are awesome. We're at Oxenholm, our train got delayed. It's almost 10 o'clock. Train comes at 10.22, so we've just been waiting here for like 40 minutes. Probably not gonna go to any pubs tonight. We're gonna check in and then we'll see you guys tomorrow. It looks like it's like a 70% chance of rain. Make sure you guys stay tuned because it's a big surprise tomorrow. We have landed at the hotel in the Lake District. It's 11.05. Another thing to note about this hotel, it comes with a free full English breakfast. It's just been such an eventful day. I've had trouble falling asleep every night because my heart just keeps beating so fast and I keep thinking about the next day because I'm just so excited. And today we're going to be trying a full English breakfast for the first time. Oh my God. Try and get a piece of everything and every bite. It's difficult. So overall, I would give it like an eight or a nine out of 10. Glad I tried it and hopefully can have some more English breakfast in the future. We got the warmest welcome to England weather. This is what we were expecting. Honestly, I would rather have this than what we experienced on uh, Tuesday. I look like an idiot, but thanks to whoever sent this because otherwise I'd be wet. Currently, we're waiting on my cousin to show up. That was the surprise. It's not really that big of a surprise. The bigger surprise is still in the future. We planned out that we would stop in this town, which isn't far from her. Yeah, we're gonna meet up with her. She's gonna show us this church that's over a thousand years old world famous gingerbread and then obviously a couple lakes because we're in the lake district we are in the car with our chauffeur david and wendy who is my cousin good morning uh we're heading off to somewhere where are we heading actually we're headed to bonus where the big boats go around the lake longest lake in england 11 12 miles long we're gonna go on the ferry across to hawk's head which is the lake district mini cruise which is 10 minutes i'm actually excited to see lake windermere because i've heard a lot of stuff about it it is the largest lake in england it's bonus is that the specific spot that we're going to yeah Cool. Hopefully there's shelter on the ferry from the rain. We'll be in the car. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was a ferry where you, uh, like a pedestrian ferry. I'm gonna keep this mic as dry as possible. We are on Lake Windermere right now. We just got out of the car. We're gonna film for a bit, show you guys the lake. Look at the, look at the hills in the background. Do you see that? It's crazy too, because I remember reacting to videos on top 10 places to go in England and things like that. And the Lake District was always on the list. No, the ferry's moving. I didn't feel a jolt, nothing. Is this still uh, Lake Windermere? We are currently walking around Hawk's Head, and we have quite the itinerary today. We've only had tea once, but I've been craving another one. All right, guys, right now we are going to be taking a look at the little bridge house. There's Wendy over there. Get a shot of her. Not sure what town we're in right now. The house wasn't built on the bridge. The house was built with the bridge. It's not even big, but... All right, guys, we're currently driving to a pub that is the highest pub in England. But look at this. We're literally in the clouds right now. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> what, what, what is a man supposed to say when he sees this? Like, what, what is... I don't even know what to say. It's cold, too. I didn't expect it to get this cold. You can see the lake down there. Do you see this, guys? This is insane. Look at that. Look, look, look. 1,481 feet above sea level, 1496 AD. More interested in 
food than beer. I am. Oh, I think Will and I are on a different wavelength. Yeah. <laughs> Views are beautiful when you drop down into Brothers Water. Let's do it. I should have brought a hoodie. That's what I've learned. Like down in the valley, they don't call it the Lake District for nothing. One thing I'm surprised about is how steep these hills are. I mean, God. Guys, the wind is hitting right now. I should have brought a sweater, bro. I might have to buy one. This has to be up there with some of the most beautiful places I've ever been. We didn't even have to drive. We drove like 20 minutes and look where we are. Yeah. Will's gonna attempt to pour some tea. We're here at tea time. Tea time. 3 p.m. is tea time. We're a little early, but it'll suffice. We drink tea all day. So Will's gonna try and pour some tea. Wendy says she does the milk first. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. And we all learned about this just now. It goes like this. This one's a bit bigger than the cup we had at the station. Please do stir with your little fingers. Brown or white? White stir. One lump or two? Two lumps. <laughs> it's really sweet. <laughs> really, really two sweet. Two lumps in. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a sip of this tea. Will put two cubes of sugar in it. Lumps, sorry. Why is it so? <laughs> That's too much. I think one would have been perfect. I got corned beef and Will got Cumberland sausage. We're gonna see what this tastes like. I also saw black pudding was listed on the menu. We strayed away as far as possible from that for now. The inevitable is gonna come and we're gonna have to try it. For now, we're gonna enjoy our time. Let our taste buds live a bit. Actually, I don't know if they will be because according to Wendy, the corned beef is disgusting. <laughs> so. I don't like corned beef. Yeah. David loves it. I love yeah. corned beef. He also likes mushy peas with fish and chips. Mushy peas. Is that rare nowadays? Because no. it seems people like that. Love they love. No, peas. no, they don't. It's disgusting. No, it's not. He's the first person I've met that likes mushy peas with fish and chips. Everyone else says, oh, they throw it away or they just ignore it on the plate. That's what I would do. It's just no seasoning in it. That's the problem for me. Uh, salt and pepper. You have to put that on yourself though. It's no. gooey. Yeah. We're gonna have the famous gingerbread after this. We're Very... actually getting mushy peas. No, no, no. There we are. Oh no. I might have to tell them to change the order. Pea soup? What type of? <laughs> Bro, is that a joke? <laughs> We are in Edinburgh, Scotland right now. We literally just walked out of our hostel and that is the view we get.